a polar bear riding a Harley Davidson through Buckingham Palace during a satanic ritual. I think that one might have revealed a bit too much about how my mind works. Hello, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, my name is Neil and I have been a real life architect in the UK since 2009. I usually make videos about the reality of altering and extending private homes in the UK, but this video is a bit of a departure, so bear with me. There has been a lot of talk about artificial intelligence or AI over the last few years. Some people think it's about to transform our world in all sorts of amazing ways, and other people are a bit less optimistic. They took our job! I prefer to keep an open mind and check things out for myself. So, a few weeks ago, I applied to OpenAI.com, the people who run DALI2, an online artificial intelligence which is currently in beta testing. They claim DALI2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. I put a link in the description. I was upfront when I applied, said I was somewhat skeptical, but wanted to check it out for myself and review it on my channel. And what do you know, they let me do it. So this is the DALI website, and the idea is simple. You write down in plain English whatever comes to mind, and the AI system will create an image based on your description. So being an architect who specializes in domestic properties, I want to know, will DALI artificial intelligence help me in any way? I started by asking DALI to create an image of an open plan house with Siberian larch cladding and zinc roof in the Scottish countryside with a chimney. The system generated these four options and I then chose this option to work with. The chimney seems a bit weird, but the DALI system allows me to edit this and write a new description of what I needed to change. It looks okay as an image, but I'm not sure what I was expecting, so next I decided to ask it to create an interior image of a split-level, open-plan kitchen living dining space with huge skylight at night. It came up with these options and I thought this one was the most realistic, so I asked it to add a marble countertop and this is the end result. So far, the system can dream up impressively varied images in just a few seconds. But as an architect, altering existing properties makes up the majority of my work. Fortunately, DALI allows me to upload photos and then edit them. So, I thought, can DALI do any better than me at designing house extensions? I took this photo of a property in 2019. It has since been altered substantially and now looks like this. Let's see what DALI would do instead. I asked her to create a modern house extension with a cantilevered zinc roof just like what I actually designed, and instead it came up with this. I'm not sure it understood the request, so I uploaded the floor plan of the original property before it was altered. I asked Dali to create an open plan kitchen living dining space inside the existing walls, and it came up with this. Not great. So the system appears to do better dreaming up new images rather than adapting existing ones, which seems a missed opportunity, but maybe Dali is better suited to giving inspiration rather than detail. So I went back to basics and asked the artificial intelligence to design a glass garden room extension to a suburban house in Edinburgh. It came up with these four options and I chose to develop this one. It has all the elements you might expect of a suburban extension in Edinburgh. The existing house appears to be built from sandstone, the trees appear to be the right species, and even the sky is suitably overcast. It's only when you look at the detail that things fall apart. The junctions between house and extension, and the extension and the ground, appear arbitrary, but maybe if I see this as the starting point for a design rather than the end product, it's not that bad. I then got a bit cheeky and asked Dali to create an image of a happy architect, happy building contractor, and happy client on a building site. But who the hell are these guys? It seems I asked for the impossible. How about an architect trying to explain artificial intelligence to his YouTube viewers? This guy's makeup looks like it was done by Pablo Picasso, and this guy's monitor has some additional thumbs holding it up. At this point I am thinking, maybe Dali doesn't do detail very well at all. Maybe it's better at graphics, so I asked it to generate a new logo for the Real Life Architect channel. It came up with these, and actually that last one isn't too bad, except for the random letters. Why can't Dali spell properly? Okay, so it can generate a logo. Let's see if it can create an architectural drawing from scratch. Let's make a floor plan of a bedroom measuring 4 meters by 4 meters with a window, entrance door, double bed, and two bedside lockers. And it gives me this, a series of 3D layouts rather than a floor plan. An amateur might be impressed by this, but it doesn't actually give me what I asked for. So let's try again, except this time explicitly ask it for a 2D floor plan. 
No, it's still 3D. And how does anyone actually get into that room? These are vague approximations of architectural layouts, but they don't actually work in the real world. Okay, it can't do floor plans. Let's see if Dali can do sectional perspectives. I love a good sectional perspective. Okay, this actually looks good. There is a definite architectural quality, but I can tell it's still a mashup of various elements rather than a coherent design. How about technical drawings? Let's ask for a technical drawing of a timber frame wall built in the Gothic architectural style. Purely because I've never seen such a thing in the real world. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, cool. Again, the text is meaningless gibberish, but the diagram is interesting. Let's push this further. Line drawing of timber frame wall built in the Gothic architectural style. Nice, but a bit plain. Skiography drawing of timber frame wall built in the Gothic architectural style. Okay, wow, that is starting to get interesting. Skiography drawing of timber frame wall built on the Gothic architectural style with shadows. Now we're getting somewhere. Skiography drawing of intricate fractal timber frame wall built in the Gothic architectural style with shadows. Now that really is something to look at. I don't know if it can be built, but it is very interesting. Architectural drawing of intricate fractal timber frame wall built in the Gothic architectural style with shadows. This definitely has a strong architectural quality, no doubt. Let's ask for something else architectural. Complex architectural sketch of timber frame house. That is really nice. Let's develop it further. Complex architectural sketch of modern timber frame house. Very interesting. Let's change the description slightly. Highly detailed architectural sketch of modern timber frame house. Okay, some nice options there. Let's push it further. Highly detailed architectural line drawing of modern timber frame house with shading. Okay, some nice options there. Let's add fractal, didn't like that the last time. Highly detailed architectural line drawing of fractal timber frame house with shading. Check out the last one. Let's develop that one further. Wow, at first glance there is a lot of detail here, but if you look closely, it gets sketchy. Like the artist doesn't really know how to actually build this or how the interior space might be organized. These sketches have an undeniable beautiful architectural quality, but they are still sketches. This is architecture student stuff. It's expressive and full of potential, but it lacks deeper architectural knowledge. But just like a student learns over time, this artificial intelligence might also graduate to more accurate and useful image making. New technologies always start out with more promise than practical application. Credit cards, mobile phones, electric cars, and the internet all began as expensive technologies with serious limitations, but over time, they became much more useful. So far, DALI gives the illusion of detail without any depth. It can deal with patterns and materials, but not with space, at least not yet. If this is going to go anywhere, I need artificial intelligence to have architectural intelligence. In my experience, most people imagine architects spend all day drawing, sketching and making models, but that is completely inaccurate. Less than 10% of my time in the last year was spent doing feasibility studies, that is, conceptual design the thing people imagine I spend all my time on. In reality, I spend most of my time inspecting building sites, dealing with planning applications, negotiating tenders, drawing up technical specifications, and answering emails. So many emails. If I were designing an artificial intelligence, it would do the dull stuff, not the glamorous image making. I need an AI that can find if the builder has made a mistake or check my drawings for compliance with the building regulations. I'm not trying to be negative about DALI, it actually exceeded my expectations and I may actually use it in real life, something I was not expecting when I applied to beta test the system, but I would love if it did more.